Hi guys, this is going to be a quick little video on some speed tricks you can use in your Sony Vegas editing. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to import your files faster. Instead of going to File, Import, Media, you can actually just open the folder wherever your file is and you can just drag and drop those in there. And Sony Vegas is pretty good at importing different files. You can even import photos and videos of different formats into Sony Vegas easily, so keep that in mind. The next little trick is how to insert a video track and an audio track easily. Instead of going up to insert audio track or insert video track, you can actually hold down control shift Q and that'll get you another video track and control Q that'll get you another audio track. And this is really helpful when you're just in the middle of a project, and you're just going along, you can just add another video track in there and just keep on your merry way with your editing. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to select multiple clips. You just left click on something, hold down shift, and then click left on wherever you want. You can also select different tracks at the same time. Just left click where you want and left click up there and hold down shift. One of the things that's a little bit tricky in Sony Vegas is that you can't just select this one and then select a file up here if you don't have something right there in that spot. So what I usually do is I usually create a dummy file and then I move the opacity down. So it's not technically there, but it is there. And I usually just place that at the beginning and the end of where I want to select. And then I can just left click there and left click there and I can select all those over there. And left click there, hold down shift and left click there. And if I want to do select it here, just left click there, left click there and it selects all those things. So that's pretty handy when you're just have multiple tracks and you want to select certain pieces. The next trick is an easy one on any clip. If you just hit S, that splits your clip in half and then you can just delete that. And that's good for matching things up on the beat or just easily cutting in half instead of just dragging and dropping the ends. You can also hit the M key and that creates marker. This is also helpful if you're like dividing up a video into pieces or again, if you're working on creating a beat or something from an audio file, you can just create little markers and then you can easily match different things up. The next trick I'm gonna show you is how to add transitions. Normally when I edit, I go up to the left hand corner and drag down a fade and then I will apply the transition that I want to on top of that but you can actually just drag and drop the transition you want and just put it up in the corner and it will create it. Now it does create a specific length. So you can see that um, one second is what the length of it's creating. So you can just drag and you can drag out the transition if you want it longer or shorter, or you can do it the other way. You can just pull down a fade and then add a transition down there. So either or. If you're creating transitions and you want to keep them uniform, you can just select the files that you want to add the transition onto and then pull down the left. And then again, you can just drag and drop your transitions and you can also, of course, do it the other way if you prefer. And it'll put your transitions there. The next tip is to use presets. Um, if you have a frequent font that you like to use, um, I like my whatever font. This is what I used in YouTube videos for a while. I would actually create a preset. This way I can easily have the same, the same text file in all of them and I don't have to go through selecting all of my settings again. You can also do that with pans. So if you have an image file here and you just create a slight pan and you're like, hmm, I want to add that to everything. So you can just left click and drag and you can copy I hit control C or you can right click and say copy and then you can move to your next file and you can left click right there on your keyframe and then paste control V or right click paste and it will match the same settings. So that's pretty handy if you have multiple files and you want to do the same thing to it. To easily copy a file instead of going control C control V you can simply left click on a file, hold down control and drag it out and that will copy your file. This is also handy when you have like text files and you don't want to create a preset because you're not going to use it very often. You can also just copy that, make sure it says create a new copy of the source media. If you leave it as a reference, it'll change 
the original file to create a new source file and then you can type whatever you want in there and it'll still keep the same settings. It's just a quick little way instead of just dragging down another one and creating the, the same settings again. Resizing images, depending on what your project settings are and if you're using weird things like photographs, you can open up the event pan and crop and right click on it and click match output aspect. And this is gonna create it so it fits nicely in your window and you can also just drag it like you would and it's gonna stay proportional for you. The final tip is if you're creating video effects that are on some of your clips but not on all of them, instead of copying the same effect like black and white onto a certain portion of your clips, you can actually apply that video effect to the video track. And this is gonna change all of the images that are at the bottom. And it's not gonna to touch any of the ones that are on a different layer. So that's just a handy way if you wanna affect certain things, like maybe you're having flashbacks or something and everything is black and white on flashbacks. You can just put it down here, or if you have like daylight scenes and it's all color corrected, just keep in mind that you can add video effects to the track and then just separate the tracks instead of applying it on video effects and then you have to remove them or add them piece by piece. So that is all of my tips for Sony Vegas. If you have any questions or comments, leave me a comment below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it useful. I will see you guys all again in the next video. Bye.